All right. So first and foremost, you know what we do now. We do our systematic search of the town. For this, for big cities like this, I like to go around and check the outsides first. You know, just go. Oh, I accidentally bumped the mic. Uh, go through and check all the little nooks and crannies. Make sure there's, you know, nothing hidden. And then I'll explore the insides of houses for afterwards. It's a little approach that I've come to make. That way I don't get confused on what I have and have not done. Helps keep things, you know, focused in my head. Look through all these areas. And plus, you know, there's not a whole lot of doorways you can enter anyway. So it keeps things nice and concise and simple. You'll know if it, because on the mini map, you'll know you can go into a door if it's got a little red symbol on it. I don't want to go that way yet. Let's go to check these as well, though. I'm sure, there's nothing in there. Nothing here. Well, I say that, but there is something, but we'll get to that. Don't worry. Through here. Check every little corner. Twenty gold coins. Every little bit helps. All right, so now we can systematically go into each of these houses. We're on this side, so we'll start over here. We'll start with the armor shop. Actually, no, let's run up here. I think there's something. No, there's not. My mistake. So we'll run into the uh, armor shops first. Armor and weapons. You have nothing. Okay, good day. Next on the agenda is this little house right here. This guy will react to us. <laughs> Fool. Oh, a bookshelf. Hello. There's a book called A Brief History of Heliodor. Eleven takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Situated atop rocky cliffs, Heliodor was never blessed with fertile soil or bounty bounteous rains. Farmers could never reap a plentiful harvest from its earth, which all agreed was barren. But one day, in search of a land to call their own, two brothers came to these unwelcoming wilds and began a daring attempt to reclaim them from nature. Many sneered at them at their seeming fault folly, but the brothers paid them no heed and toiled on. A grand irrigation system soon saw the soil brought to life, and their first yield of crops exceeded all expectations. Their deeds united the farming families around them, and a new united realm soon sprang up and transformed the land with the two brothers as its kings. Thus was born the nation of Heliodor. All good to know. Nice little history lesson. This leads me back outside. Yes, it does. As well does this. Yes, it does. Okay. So now we can head upstairs. And peruse a bit. Turn here. It's locked right. I know what that is. Yes, I'm like 95% certain what that is. So now we can leave. And there's this up here. Uh, 
up the ladder. And with this, we can dive down a chimney. Yeah, boy. She gives us a book. It's a scrap of paper hidden between two books. Eleven takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. There's nothing I love more than the longing looks of those slum dwellers who pass beneath my balcony and gawk at my treasure chest with their hungry eyes. The envy of the unwashed masses is well founded, for the chest holds my greatest treasures, but I rest easy in knowledge that it remains completely inaccessible. Just as I did yesterday and today, tomorrow I shall bask in the covetous glances of rats scaring below. Well, uh, friend. I hate to, uh, burst your bubble, but... We got a gold bracer. Which can be quite good, so actually we need to equip some things. Gemma's, uh, Gemma's accessory, or charm, which, you know, increases a little defense. This increases defense and charm. So we're looking pretty beefy right now. This is why I'm saying you don't need to, to purchase items, you can just simply find them. It's gotta be thorough. Yeah, boy. Alright, so that's this place, essentially. Uh, essentially, look through. Can I move? <laughs> I'm dumb, help. What else is there on this side of town? This is the more barren side of town, actually, where there's not a whole lot of places for you to go into. Yeah, we went up that ladder. Went around here. We pretty much explored all that already, so... We'll go onward. We can actually grab a side quest while we're over here. Because we'll have to go on, yeah, that side of town to complete it anyway, so. I came all the way to Heliodor with just one goal in mind, to catch a glimpse of the two of the greatest heroes in all of history, Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrik. The only problem is, they won't let me into the castle. Can you believe it? Well, if I'm not going to meet them in person, I suppose I'll have to bide my time reading up on them instead. You know, if you want to earn my eternal gratitude, help me find a book about the exploits of these two knights. Oh, Lord. Yep. Oh, thank you so much. That was the book about my two favorite knights just sitting on a bookshelf somewhere. I've taken a look around the west of the city, so maybe you should head east. If you look at, if you see any bookshelves with red books in them, take a closer look. Apparently, they're the ones worth we reading. If you do manage to find a book about Jasper and Hendrick, make sure to come back and tell me all about it, won't you? Good luck. This is basically a side quest to help you learn how to how to read, essentially. So we'll jump this way. To these little pots. Here's the stuff that's real out of the way like that. It can be can be pretty good. Uh, do we want to jump down there? Not yet. We'll look around up here first. Okay, yeah, not up there. Not quite yet. How it looks. Okay, now we'll go down there. Cause this guy, he'll he'll throw you out if he sees you. So we gotta be extra cautious. items that we could be less cautious later but you know let's see what we can do okay I've never done this before this is cool what happens if I try to go down oh he still sees me that's funny okay I like that Never done that before. Oh yeah, and it okay. Inns are like campsites too. You just go in, you rest, do all that sort of fun stuff. Get uh, inns. I think can sometimes sell items too. Well, I might be thinking of a different game, but you can you can find things in inns. They're they're helpful. Okay, so nothing up here that I can see. Alright. So we'll take this side quest as well. 
Yeah, stuck on the roof. She won't come down. Yeah, there's a cat up there. We'll take care of this. And we'll continue on our search because we'll get up there eventually. Check this little area, make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Run around here. Yeah, we can head up there for that in a moment. We were just down here. If we run in here, we can find that book that our old friend was talking about. I'll head upstairs first, though. Break some pot. Here. Nothing worthwhile. Some pot. A book. Not the book we're looking for, but... It's a magazine entitled Down and Out in Downtown Heliodor. Levin takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. In last month's issue, we shed some light on the lesser-known highlights of Heliodor's historic city center. This month, we'd like to take a moment to talk about the city's diverse downtown district. The land is quarter... The land this quarter occupies once served as a defensive trench, but with the town's population growing by the day, new arrivals had no choice but to make their homes in this ditch down beyond the walls. Soon, the bustling shanty town had attracted a whole host of colorful characters and came to be known as a place of great risk, but also great opportunity. Downtown Heliodor struggles with crime is no secret, but for some thrill seekers, it offers an excitement found nowhere else. Do you dare take a walk on the wild side? Well, I'd like to say I'm something of a wild individual myself. Not really. Kind of boring. Here's the book. There's a book called The Soldier and the Strategist, A Tale of Two Heroes. Levin takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. No matter how ferocious an assault the monsters may launch against Heliodor, this great kingdom shall not fall, for two heroic figures will stand in the path of any attacker. The first is Sir Hendrik, a warrior without equal. Countless times as he ridden his colossal black steed Obsidian fearlessly into the heart of an oncoming assault, scattering the enemy like so many leaves. He is chivalrous to a fault, considered by many to be the greatest swordsman in the world. Even the vilest, most towering troll dare not stand its ground when it faced with its whirling greatsword. Second half of this gallant duo is the shrewd and ingenious Sir Jasper, regarded as the sharpest military mind of the age. He has led heavily outnumbered forces to glorious victory again and again. Though as a swordsman he may be no match for Sir Hendrik, his ability to analyze any battlefield and quickly arrive at the ideal strategy for the situation at hand is unrivaled. These two great men, the swordsman and the strategist, to protect it, Heliodor fear, need fear no foe. Oh, yeah, it, that just told me the book. Kick. Heliodor is a huge place, there are all sorts of surprises. Yeah, this guy tells us what we already know. So you don't mind if I... Chuck a flitstone. Alright, so we went through there. Okay, so this only has like three major areas to go through. Kick. Keep running around. Anything. A well that we can't go into. That's unfortunate. stuff up there. Okay, so that's... Okay, cool. So now we can go up here. Check that, check that. Okay. And now for this last little area. Which I don't think there's anything in this spot in particular. That's another walkway for you to go through. Yeah, a little short one. Cool beans. So now we can begin our assault on the upper areas, which we went up here already. We ran through here, ran through there. Okay. Excuse me. We didn't go up here, though. Up here, click this. Flurry feather, cool. 
Excellent. Nothing up there for us anymore, I don't think. The next big place to go to up above is right above the church. See, I have a very, very systematic way of playing the game. And when it comes to exploring these areas, anyway. Where's the cat? There's the cat. Okay. Oh, I still gotta go indoors, right? So this here is the tricky part. One for the money, two for the show, three... Oh, crap. I pressed the button at the wrong time. It usually takes me an attempt or two to get that right. Let's do it right this time. Here we go. There we are. We got a treasury chest. And a mini metal. Mini metals are little things you can find just scattered around the world. And they can be quite useful. You can also uh, trade items once you collect a certain number of them. Yes. Cool, we helped the little girl's cat. Now we can... This is another way up here, but I like the more adventurous way, honestly. Nothing up here? I think there's something up here, though. Okay, there's, there's one area where you, you can get an item that's stuck behind a door. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Kick. Okay, I think that's all for this spot okay, so we went through oh I missed these completely see <laughs> I miss a lot of stuff can I go in here I can okay so we went through these two houses open bandana I have a pretty nice bandana already but Hello, sir. You don't mind, do you? Okay. A uh, book. We'll read this. There's a book called A Spotter's Guide to Monsters. Intrepid adventurer, if this book should impress upon you one thing before you set out on your quest to see the world, let it be this. The monsters that roam the land at night are far more fearsome than those appearing during the day. Heed those words well, adventurer, and go abroad in the evening only if you prepare to meet the dangers that await you. Well, I encourage the dangers ahead of me. Is this it? No, it's not it. I swear there's one where you open in, they have a pot hiding behind it, and it's, it's pretty great. I love it. We have the inn, we have a bank, so in case you die, in case, you know, you perish, then... You're able to put your funds in there and not lose any when you die. So, useful. Uh, hello? Oh, okay. So nothing down here, really? Hmm. Pretty nice bartender, though. But, how much money do we got? 556? Nah, we don't need to put anything up. A bunny girl. Hello. We'll turn in this quest. Excellent. Thank you for that. Item shop owner. We'll head in here. Has a pot. We got a free Chimera Wing out of him. We didn't have to pay for it. Not even an entrance fee. Yeah, this is where we just were. With Le Child. So now the only other place to go is... 
here. And of course the church. Alright. This away to the church front. Up we are. Hello, nun. Open. I don't think there's anything in the church, except you can pray. You can save. Can't really say I save in the churches that much. Unless it's extremely necessary and I have to leave and do something. Most of the time, I just kind of save at the... Sorry, I had to do it. I just save at the campsites most of the time. Look, Riley, you found the book. Go on, tell me what it said. Is that Sir Hendrick is the mightier swordsman, but Sir Jasper is a peerless military tactician? I had heard as much. And between the two of them, they've made Heliodor a nigh on unbeatable military force. Yep. Drusillian Schilling. Not worth much of anything, I don't think. Alright, cool. So we've explored this area pretty much entirely. Now we could get take a look at the armor, I guess. No armor shops over here. I mean, we, we looked in here, but we didn't actually look in here. So what type of armor do you sell, sir? I will buy. Leather shield, which can be better. I know you can find one of those, though. I can find one. So yeah, this is all stuff that's going to be mediocre fairly quickly, because very, very soon we're going to be able to craft something that's a lot better than that stuff. So, crafting's always the way to go for me. Find the items, craft what you need, never purchase anything ever again. It's great. Alright, so nothing worthwhile there. I mean, we could check the item shop at the very least. I mean, we're here, so. Uh, medicinal herbs, chimera wings. We got 15 herbs. We don't need anything from you. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now let's go check uh, Upper Heliodor. The Royal Square, as it's called. Something you can do is go on top of the church and go through here, which that's going to be useful uh, later on in the game. But, oh, there's a chest there. Well, do you want to know how to get it? I'll show you. After I get those three gold coins, very worthwhile. You jump over this, actually. Just kidding. No, you don't. That's not how you get it. See that bush there? You're probably going to think, oh, do you need something incredible and amazing to go through it? Huh, well, no. Just kind of walk through it. You'll be fine. It's cool. It's just a bush. See the sorcery. You know, if you're a dude, you're used to having to run through a bush. You know, just a couple of scrapes, bruises, who cares? Uh, can't go in here yet. But don't worry, we will. We will eventually. Uh, we can go in here. I don't think this house has an item. It may. Yes. A hundred gold coins. Excellent. That's a hundred more gold coins than I had before. And a book. What's in the book? Book called The Lurid Allure of the Dingy Dungeons. Far below the basements and storehouse storerooms of Heliodor Castle, deep within its very bowels, lie the dungeons that house the most heinous and hardened criminals in the kingdom. Many who have been locked away in these cold, dank cells have not lived to see the outside world again. Those whose crimes are deemed truly unforgivable are thrown into the deepest cells of all, from which it is said to be all but impossible to escape, a death sentence and all but name. Take care to stay on the right side of the law, dear reader, lest you too be locked up and the key thrown away forever. Oh, I'm a fine, upstanding citizen. Alright, I'm going to be staying out of a cell, alright? I, I have no reason to be thrown, thrown in jail. I just probably missed an item. Nope. Doggy. Oh, hold on. I almost ran past these pots. Can't ever run past pot. 
Never pass it up. Pass it around, pass it up. Hello? Hello, lady. Care if I read through your undergarments? Oh, you just have regular clothes? How dare you? You're supposed to be rich. How dare you have plain clothes as a rich person? <laughs> 